G'day, I'm David O'Loughlin, I'm the Mayor of Prospect and just want to talk to you about the meeting we've just finished here for the month of August for the City of Prospect. Uh, it's a tremendously busy meeting with over 14 items on the agenda ranging from the CEO's performance appraisal which we do each and every year to leasing out our milk depot site on Main North Road, putting our uh, ideas for the Memorial Gardens play space out for community consultation and also concluding uh, the internal process for the Broadview Oval Precinct and putting that out for community consultation. A great deal of work been done on that one with the local sporting groups there and now we're going to ask you in the, in the community what you think of the ideas. $14.6 million over how many years it will take we don't know, uh, but certainly we need to have an idea about what we should be asking other levels of government and other sporting codes to contribute to and the plans look pretty well advanced. Uh, in terms of uh, other ideas that we had uh, this, um, this meeting, uh, um, the video recording actually, uh, um, strangely enough as I talked to you, was also on the agenda tonight. Please let us know if you're finding the service to be of use to you, if you find the quality to be good or a problem, uh, please get in touch with council reception and let them know your feedback on uh, the video recording. We are one of the only councils in Australia doing it and we're very much in the trial phase of that, so any feedback would be greatly appreciated on 8269-5355. I um, do want to talk about one particular item tonight. Uh, but before I get to that, we also passed the fourth budget review tonight, which is the finalisation of the accounts for the uh, financial year ending on the 30th of June. A great result. We have met and just exceeded our forecast result for the year. We're in surplus this year, just gone, which is great news. Our long-term financial plan is looking very healthy, and that means that the pressure on rate increases uh, is not as high as uh, we otherwise feared. So great result for you, uh, great result to, uh, achieved through hard work by the staff, the CEO and elected members as well. So rest assured that uh, we're keeping a very tight cap on expenses uh, and very pleased that we've slightly exceeded our, our projected surplus for this year, uh, which is a great result. Now tonight, the big uh, item on the agenda, and we had a gallery full of people with uh, placards and uh, very enthusiastic uh, was about the cinema proposal on uh, Prospect Road that includes six shops and some cinemas and offices on the top. Uh, that comes with a car park requirement and the petition presented tonight with a, uh, I think nearly 200 signatures from the streets around very concerned about whether council's considering the car parking requirements in that development approval. Um, council's very happy to receive the petition but we need to point out quite clearly that council in this instance is not the decision making body. We have to, under state legislation, delegate that responsibility to our independent development assessment panel. And they'll be meeting on the 8th of September to consider that item. It's great to see local people being really passionate. A really well spoken petitioner made the points extremely well on behalf of the petitioners uh, and that will be noted by the council. And uh, those items are already of serious concern to the staff and in discussions with the applicant as well. So if you're interested in that topic, Watch the rest of the video and you'll see that fairly early in the video. If you're interested in the decision, uh, please get yourself along to the Development Assessment Panel meeting on the 8th of September uh, or uh, stay tuned. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy the video. Bye. And.